Welcome to this video. Over the next few minutes, we will show you what's new in SAGE 300 version 2023. SAGE 300 2023 offers exciting new features that guarantee better user experience, advanced capabilities, and flexibility needed for today's business. This latest version presents additional functionalities and superior user experience through general improvements, Sage 300 Cloud Web Screen Improvements, Other Improvements, and Sage CRM Integration Improvements. Let's start by looking at general improvements available in the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens and in the Sage 300 Classic Screens. Changes have been made to the user passwords requirements to make Sage 300 more secure. In Sage 300 Database Setup, on the Advanced Security Settings screen, a new Increase Required Complexity option lets you require that passwords include at least a lowercase letter, uppercase letter, number, and special characters such as an asterisk or pound sign. If you specify a minimum password length, it must be at least 8 characters. Also, if you require complex passwords and you use Sage Fixed Assets integrated with Sage 300, you must update your system as explained in Sage Knowledge Base Article 115839. Technical upgrades and enhancements have been made to improve overall security for Sage 300. If you are upgrading from a previous version of Sage 300, you may need to make some changes to your system setup. For more information, see Knowledge Base Article 116170. This release includes new web screens for project and job costing. You can now use the Account Set screen to create groups of general ledger accounts, which you assign to contracts to identify the general ledger accounts to which you post project and job costing transactions for each contract. The Charges screen allows you to record amounts that you charge your customers for services or fees, for which you have not incurred any costs directly, such as registration fees or prepayments on a project. If you use Retainage Accounting, use the Update Retainage screen to enter opening retainage balances for contracts you are transferring to Sage 300 Project and Job Costing from another job costing system. You also use this screen to update the retainage payable or retainage receivable for contracts, projects, and categories. Setup reports are now available in web screens for Accounts Payable, Accounts Receivable, General Ledger, Tax Services, Bank Services, Inventory Control, Order Entry, Purchase Orders, and project and job costing. You can now use your keyboard to open screens from the navigation menu. New keyboard shortcuts for the navigation menu let you move around the menu and open screens from it. More information on web screens can be found on the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens online help page or in the Sage 300 Cloud Web Screens Getting Started guide. This release also includes other improvements. Improvements have been made to the organization of Sage 300 items on the Windows Start menu so that you can find things more easily. Instead of a single Sage menu, there are now three menus. Sage 300, Sage 300 Admin Utilities, and Sage 300 Support Utilities. We have also added some new items in the Sage 300 Admin Utilities menu so that you can use features like Data Activation, Current Users, and License Manager without needing to open Sage 300. To get the best experience with the improved Start menu, uninstall your previous version of Sage 300 before installing Sage 300 2023. If you don't do this, the Start menu will show both the old menu and the new menus. Now let's review the Sage CRM integration improvements. There are now changes to access control for Sage 300 2023 when using Sage CRM integration. 
These new enhanced security measures provide a better user experience by improving efficiency when setting up the integration with Sage CRM. On the EW Sage CRM setup screen, when a user saves the Sage CRM server name from the EW Sage CRM setup screen, the Access Control Allow Origin section will be updated in the web.config file. By default, Sage 300 will no longer set the Access Control Allow Origin section in the web.config file to asterisk. Instead, it will now only allow the access from the specified Sage CRM server name entered. To set up Sage CRM integration and update the web.config file, you must run the EW Sage CRM setup to configure where the Sage CRM server is located. Once you have saved the settings, the Access Control Allow Origin section will be updated in the web.config file. If you are integrating Sage 300 companies with multiple Sage CRM installations across different servers, additional setup will be required. To set up multiple Sage CRM servers, see Sage Knowledge Base Article 116186. On the AR Customer screen, when updating the contact information for a customer, the Update CRM Data screen will appear. There are three options available for synchronizing the data to a Sage CRM person record. If you select Update Existing Person, the information will be pushed to Sage CRM, updating the existing person record with the information and leaving existing CRM data intact. Replaced Existing Person replaces all the information for the existing person record linked to this contact. This will overwrite any existing Sage CRM information. And Add New Person adds the new customer as a new person record in Sage CRM. In this case, you will have two persons in Sage CRM. One is the original person intact as a person record but no longer linked to Sage 300, and the other is a new person record linked to Sage 300. Another change to the AR customer screen is that it now uses the current date by default instead of the Sage 300 session date. This change can be seen on the Statistics tab in the Fiscal Period and Fiscal Year fields, the Comments tab in the Date Entered field, and the Credit Status tab, Age as of field, are the areas that now show the current date by default. For more information about this release, including technical information, program fixes, requirements, and more, please refer to the Sage 300 2023 release notes. Congratulations! You now know what's new in Sage 300 version 2023.